Hello guys, back again. Um, I've got some good news. I managed to get myself some tickets to the PSV game. Um, absolutely pumped. I nearly went through the roof when I uh, got them through. I had um, an email telling me on the day that I'd received, you know, no tickets for the Sheffield United game. And I was like, okay, great. This is great. And then I had a transaction go through on my card and um, we found out it was PSV tickets, but I had no email and we had to basically look through me and my, my missus was helping me as well, trying to figure out what this transaction was. But it turns out I've got two tickets for me and my boy to the PSV game. Now I'm ecstatic about that. I'm absolutely buzzing, but I can't go off of the point that this balloting system is not fair to certain fans. Now I know obviously people will say, I'm lucky, you know, but I want to be going regularly to these games. And um, I mean, I could get this Champions League ticket. Absolutely. I'm absolutely buzzing about the ticket, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because like I say, I'm ecstatic about going but at the same time, I still don't agree with the balloting system. So a lot of people might think, you know, stop whinging. Still not fair to the long-term fans, the loyal fans, the fans that have been members for however long. But I am absolutely buzzing to go and see my boys. Got my Odegaard shirt. I can't show you the back, obviously, but got my Odegaard shirt on. I'm going to be wearing this to the game. So I know it's an away shirt. I'm going to the Emirates, but... Get to represent my boy Odegaard, my man. Um, Favourite player for me this season. Obviously Declan, everyone's going to say Declan has been phenomenal, 100%. But I'll keep my loyalties to the the older, the long-term the long term players. And Odegaard is my man, I got him on the shirt. I want to get, um, still want to get the home shirt. I haven't actually got the home shirt yet. But um, I don't know whether to get Saka or Rice on the home one. I'd probably be more inclined to get Saka just because, like I say, loyalties. Everybody loves Saka. People that don't support Arsenal love Saka. Saka is the boy, the man. We all love him. We can't compliment him highly enough. Um, and I've been happy to see there's a lot of rumours going around, spreading around, especially on Facebook, because that's sort of, I see a lot of things on there that generally come true. Um, the sources I sort of see generally are correct. So um, you can't always trust Facebook news. But um, apparently my boy Odegaard is going to be signing a new four-year deal, which is another ecstatic and brilliant piece of news. The goal he scored against United. I mean, he's class. We've seen his class, his skills against Everton, you know, the little skill he did. Um, I think it was Iwobi running up to him and he did that amazing little turn laying down Unbelievable player. There's so many things I could say about Odegaard. I just absolutely love him. Also, it's good seeing him um, banging in a goal for his country. But there was a, a lad, I can't remember the name of him, that assisted both, because obviously it was 2-1. And there is a lad that assisted both Haaland and Odegaard's goals. And apparently the Arsenal fans have been buzzing about him. I don't know anything about this guy. I don't even know what his name is, to be fair. But um, there's been a lot of calls for Arsenal to Arsenal fans saying to sign, asking Eddie to sign this. Eddie got on this, you know, get get this guy in the squad. So maybe one day we might be getting a link up, a Norwegian link up with Odegaard and whoever this uh, Norwegian player is. But I say I don't know the name of him, so I haven't really looked into that too much at all. To be fair, that's more of a recent thing since the game the other night. But this young lad, I think he's 18 or 17, and he's already got three assists and a goal um, for his country. Um, so, promising player. Let's hope that he doesn't get sniped up and he realises he could play with Odegaard, because obviously, you know, City will be a big name if he wants to go to a team. City, uh, <sighs> the plastic, the plastic club. Everyone supported him since what 2000 and. I hadn't actually seen a Man City shirt on anyone ever until 2000 and, well, the Aguero, the Aguero season. I'd never seen a Man City shirt in my life until that, that season. 
now I'm seeing Newcastle fans about everywhere when um, I'd only seen three or four Newcastle fans. Um, you know, now I see Newcastle shirts all over the place. So uh, it was the same when Leicester won the league. I saw Leicester shirts everywhere and they've all dissipated and disappeared and moved off into the ether. But anyway, yeah, we got PSV tickets. So I'm buzzing. I'm going to try and get myself a little video recorded like I do when I'm at the stadium. Probably just make a little shorts, you know, clip video. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we win. But I'm just, I'm just glad I'm going to be, you know, absolutely buzzing to be there. My boy as well. It's his third trip to the Emirates. So he's not doing bad so far for his, uh, for his, you know, young life. He's got uh, his third game coming up. He's got his hat trick of games. So he's buzzing about it, you know. So uh, it's going to be a tired day for him at school on Thursday. But, you know, it will be all right. So, uh, yeah, absolutely buzzing. But if you've watched this, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good to have a, another Arsenal chat. I love Arsenal more than I love pretty much pretty much everything. So I love buzzing, talking about them. But like I say, we need to sort that balloting system out Arsenal. That's my only problem. But huge news for me with the PSV tickets. Thank you if you've watched this and I appreciate it. Leave a comment if you've got a suggestion you want to talk about the ballot, you want to talk about how you're getting on with it or whatever. And uh, yeah, come on you gunners. Thank you for watching. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.